Now joined by Stevenson head coach Paul Cantabene here on GoMustangSports.tv. Coach, right now, what's the big – look, we acknowledge these are two good teams you played this weekend, yeah. but what's the biggest difference in getting to 60 minutes and being able to beat these types of teams? Well, you know, you got to – you know, it's, it's not in the guys, right? It's my fault. You know, obviously I'm not – doing the things necessary to get us ready for the full game. I think our guys are trying hard and they're good kids and they care, but you know, it's on me. You know, and I got to I got to coach them better throughout the game to get us there. You know, we're we're playing great in spurts and you know, sometimes the offense flows great and there's no issues and god, okay, we're doing great and then uh, you know, they come out and oh, it's not so good and then sometimes the defense is great and and so obviously there's things that we're doing and that um, falls squarely on me. And so I got to take care of that and get the guys in a good spot because, uh, you know, I do think we have a good team in the, in the end. And uh, it's just not, you know, going our way. And, uh, you know, obviously Franklin and Marshall, all the tread at the top to get his guys going after a tough game against York the day before. And I thought they came out and played with some vigor. We got there and they got back in. And then, you know, the field is kind of slippery. And we didn't adjust well. And they did a great job of that. And they shot the lights out. And, you know, we got to get our guys healthy. You know, Mitch playing on the sprained ankle wasn't so as, as effective as we hoped he would be. And get for, so we gave you know, Andrew Sauer some looks. And he did okay. And, you know, Mark's got 14 stitches in his, in his knee that he's been playing with and getting through through you know you don't really advertise these things but you know you know so we I got to get our guys in a better spot and uh, me and uh we're all squarely on me but I did tell the guys that you know you know great character doesn't come from winning you know what I mean it doesn't come from when things are going great you know great character comes from when things are the worst and can you rise and build out of that and see what you can develop from that and uh, I think we got guys of great character in the locker room but we need to get that character from 1 to 55 not 1 to 30 or in between so I think we'll come back and you know we got to get get them we're gonna give them off Monday it's their last day we can give them two days off and uh, you know we'll uh, get there but obviously it, you know it's on me not them and I'll get them better were, were legs a factor as the game went on? You know, hey, both teams had to play back-to-back. -back, you know what I mean? So you know, I think, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, us not being able to get the ball out of our own end sometimes, I thought they played harder us and we had to continue to play D, and I thought they got tired. And, uh, and I think we're, we weren't, uh, you know, you know, I think the loss yesterday because the game we should have won probably, but not taking anything away from Dickinson, and that um, it was kind of weighing some, on some of those guys and they didn't quite play as well as it probably could have and uh you know that's on me again i gotta get our guys motivated right and give them the right attitude and go through that and uh and uh, uh i have to get us there as i attempt to pull a positive here um a couple extra man goals tonight and they both came from mitchell and you mentioned you know playing through an injury but i think about that role that jake tatum played for years sort of camped out in the middle is is Mitchell becoming a guy that maybe could could change things for you in the extra man playing that role sort of in the middle of his own? Well, I mean that's all. I mean, it's you know it's all BS. You know what I mean? We're not. That's the extra man. We, we're six of twenty-seven. I mean, Mitch isn't going to do that. Mitch has got to you know we got to do things better. We got to coach our guys better. The extra man is really the least of my worries right now. And uh, you know, good question though. I, I, yeah, good question. I, I'm trying to pull some positives. Yeah, trying to. Hey, it's just positive. You know, I think, you know, we played really hard. And, uh, you know, the, the Mustang Classic is a positive. You know yeah. what I mean? And so I think that, you know, all the coaches that came to this, uh, I can't thank them enough as I thanked each one of them individually after today when we saw them beforehand and for their sacrifices and, uh, to, to be here and uh, to spend days in the hotels and buses to do that and come from the great distances that they did, Ohio and Virginia and all over the place. And, you know, they're great, and it was a great, a great crowds, and couldn't thank everybody enough to be here. You know, just because it didn't go well for us doesn't mean this is a, a successful weekend. This is beyond a successful weekend. They had the Mustang Classic back. We can't wait for it again next year. Um, the big crowds, the people coming out. Uh, thank all the parents that drove, and you know we're here, and you know the people were great, and the fish, even the officiating was good. I can't even believe I said that. You know, I'm, I must be, I must be sick. Uh, so, um, but you know, and you know the best players in the field all weekend were the goalies. You know, all weekend the goalies are the best players in the field, and uh, they did a great job. And We'll get out here, get ready, and go up and play a good Kane team that's six and one, and see if we can get a W on the road. And we'll go, you know, and get ready for Salisbury and get, open up back at home here and uh, for Elvernia and open up conference play. And uh, but uh, I promise you, we'll get better. All right. well, Coach, I know how much goes into putting this event together. So uh, on that aspect, congratulations. It was great to have it back, and a lot of hard work from a lot of people. Appreciate you coming up. We'll, we'll uh, see you in a couple weeks. All right. Thanks a lot, Glenn. Appreciate it. He's Coach Paul Cantabene. I'm Glenn Clark. This has been Go Mustang Sports TV.